Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, this is going to be another spinny vlog. I am going to drive around a teensy bit. Oh, sorry, hitting my wheel. Um, drive around a teensy bit and talk to you guys about a couple things. Anyways, what I was going to talk about today was discovery in video games. So, I notice a lot of time on YouTube comments, on mine, on other people's, that people will have some kind of criticism about the way that the person plays the game. Wow, look at that overexposed face. We're going to turn and get out of the sun here in a second. Um, and so they criticize how they're playing the game. They say, oh man, you suck at this game. Maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. And it doesn't hurt my feelings. Whoop, everything in my car just slid. Um, it doesn't hurt my feelings one bit. I'm sure it doesn't hurt most other YouTubers, except for maybe some of the younger ones who are new at it. If you've been on YouTube for any period of time, you learn to just completely ignore the haters. Most attention you'll ever give them is a block and a delete. Um, but when people say stuff like that, it just makes me think like, so this is what these people are thinking about when they're thinking about these games. And I'm trying to, and I remember back to some of my, like, what I'd consider the golden, golden days of gaming for me, which I know for a lot of older people, that'll be, you know, way back on um, Atari or in the arcade or whatever else. But for me, that was N64. N64, why are all my lights going on off? That's weird. Um, N64 is when I really got into games. It came out when I was like four or five years old and I really enjoyed it. My mom bought, my mom and my dad bought it. I, they didn't buy it for me because I was like four or five. They bought it, they got Super Mario 64, and I played that so much. I loved it, it was the best. And the best part about it was, I mean, there was all sorts of secrets that you could get where, oh, if you get all these stars and you do this and that, you can launch into a cannon and that. And you know what? I didn't know any of that right away. I didn't know how to beat the race, to race the mushroom Goomba guy up that mountain on the first level. I didn't know any of that stuff and it didn't matter. And that was the best part about it is that I didn't, I just simply didn't care. It was, the fun of the game was not about being good at the game and getting those stars and beating it. It was about discovery and finding out what kind of fun stuff I could do, stuff like that. And I still try to play games the same way where discovery is the funnest part of the game. And in games like Fallout or Skyrim, a lot of times people are still encouraged to do that and are that's looked positively on. But certainly in games like Call of Duty is the opposite. People frown on Discovery because, let's see if we can get that sun out of there. Um, they frown on Discovery because it's all about being good. And because it's competitive, um, I, I somewhat understand that. But on other games like GTA, it's a little bit of a blend. GTA and Bioshock and those kind of single player games, I know GTA is online now, but those kind of single player games, it's really about the discovery. That's where all the fun comes down to. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. Um, it will sound a little bit hypocritical, but I personally try to avoid, wow, overexposed. Um, I try to avoid YouTube videos on Bioshock. I didn't watch a single YouTube video except for the trailer before I bought it. And on GTA, I've only watched maybe three videos, four videos since it came out, including the trailer, because the fun of the game is not in being great at the game and figuring out how to get 100% as fast as possible. I understand some people have fun with that, but the fun for me and my gaming philosophy is about discovery, and I don't want to have the comprehensive guide on how to escape a five-star chase. I want to figure out, is there something cool I can do where I can maybe get a motorcycle and do a jump or skydive off something or steal a plane or what do I got to do? And it allows you to be a little bit more creative and that's where the fun of gaming really comes in for me. So I just want to share that with you guys. That's a little bit of my gaming philosophy. That's how I play Grand Theft Auto. That's how I play Minecraft. Minecraft, especially when we're people who play a lot of Minecraft and watch a lot of videos are like, oh, you can make a three by three, you know, piston door and here's the red zone. And obviously this is how we do it. And we just know it right away. But for me, the fun is spending three hours figuring out how to design that redstone door and how do the repeaters work? What are these four ticks about? I don't even know what that's about. And just reading enough on the wikis and stuff just to barely get a grasp of it and try to figure the rest out on my own. That's how I have fun with games. Um, I encourage you guys to try it sometime on a game. If you get a new game, maybe on a Steam sale or something, a game that you don't really care a whole lot about, spend five or ten dollars on it, just go in, just go in blind, don't watch YouTube videos on it, and just discover. And just allow yourself to have some fun discovering a game and seeing the kind of joy that that can give you. I mean, discovering the secret locations on Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo, I remember. That was like, oh my gosh, that would just make my day. That'd be so fun. Or 
figuring out what you could do on Agent Under Fire, the James Bond game for, what was that, PlayStation? The, just the stuff like that is really what makes game, gaming fun for me. And I encourage you guys to try it. I'm pulling into my parking lot right now, so I'm going to call it a day. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. I appreciate all of your likes and your viewerships. Um, we've been growing viewerships. I, I just make up words nowadays. Um, I think that's all I got for you. We've been growing fast recently, and I do appreciate that. I'm going to keep coming for you. And that's all I got. You guys have a good day.